We are on the back foot. And we are away from home. Pavar plays it all the way back to Manuel Neuer. Oh, he's given the ball away to Alsace. It's 2-0. And Manuel Neuer. We've done it again. What's going on, guys? My name is Adam. I am a super swan. And welcome to episode 9 of the Bayern Beta Save. We're focusing on the two cup games today as we do face PSG in the second leg of our Champions League quarter final, along with the DFB Pokal German Cup semi final against Borussia Dortmund. Two huge games. And it could define our whole season. So since you last left us, we have played the first leg of our Champions League against PSG, which we won 2-1 at home. So they do have an away goal. So we do need to make sure we do finish the job out in Paris. And we try to hopefully score an away goal to equal out that away goal. But we haven't done so well in the league. We did lose two games in a row. One to Frankfurt, 1-0. And a 3-2 loss to Borussia Dortmund. So that has closed the gap in the league. But we did win against Dusseldorf 1-0. A 91st minute winner from Lewandowski getting the result there. So fingers crossed that's going to put enough distance in the league. I'll show you the league table as we are going to be focusing on the Cups today. So we are three points clear of Borussia Dortmund with about five games to go. It is not all said and done yet. Leipzig are still four points behind us. Five points back to Bayer Leverkusen. So it is any one of those four teams could realistically win the league. But we've got to keep up that form because by losing those two games, it's brought the pack together. But we are going to focus on the PSG game first. And this is going to be the lineup for that game. We've got Manuel Neuer in goal. Alaba, Boateng, Sule and Kimmich at the back. Thiago and Goretzka holding that midfield. With Coutinho, Eriksson and Muller in those attacking positions. And 17 goal Robert Lewandowski starts up front. He's been in form since the new year. And I'm hopefully he's going to grab us an away goal. To make sure we get the win that we need. 2-1 up from the first leg. So we do have... Well, they have the away goal. So we've got to be very careful about this game. And we've got to get our tactics spot on. But I am going to tell them the media have given them a lot of credit lately. As we do get into the Champions League quarter-final second leg against PSG. We are 2-1 up from the first leg. They do have an away goal though. So it's all to play for. Can we reach the semi-finals? It is a corner. One minute in. Neymar crosses it. But it's headed away. Thiago Silva gives the ball away cheaply. And that's the end of the highlight. Three minutes in. First highlight of this game. Ander Herrera to Garner. Gives it to Neymar. Icardi to Bernat. They've got an overlap there. Bernat in the box. Very poor shot from him. It's all PSG in the opening highlight. 20 minutes in, it is all PSG. They've had four shots, two on target, two off target. We haven't had any shots whatsoever to report. And as I say, if they score one goal, they will go through on away goals. As Mbappe tries to round Neuer, it isn't going to happen. And I'm very, very worried about this game. Neymar crosses it in. Sule headers it as far as Verratti. Mbappe, edge of the area. PSG know they've got to score. They are piling men forward. I think after this highlight, we are going to go a bit more defensive. So I'm going to pause the tactics. And I'm going to go a little bit further back on the defensive line. Because I want to make sure we keep players back as much as we can. I'm debating as to whether to go to a DM. But I'm going to keep it that way for now. And see how we go up until half time. Corner, 28 minutes. Neymar crosses it in. And it's a free shot from Akadi. And they've got that goal. And it is 2-2 on aggregate. But more importantly, they will go through on away goals if the result stays the same. And it's Akadi with a free shot. No one was marking him. And now we have to go on the offensive. 35 minutes. We, we've had two shots, both of them being off target. So we do need to make something of this game. If we do score a goal, it will cancel out their away goal. So that is the priority right now. Lewandowski's through on goal. Can he finish? 
He cannot finish. Unlucky from Lewandowski. Coming into half time, still only 1 0 to PSG. I think they'll be a bit disappointed with that because they have been all over us all game. If we can get into half time only 1 0 down, we can make some tactical tweaks and try and go a bit more attacking. As Neymar with a shot puts it wide of the goal. So can we get to half time? We can. So I am going to give a bit of a, an aggressive show me something else in the second half. I think now we do need to go attacking. So we are going to go positive. I'm going to go a little bit more direct. Because I want to try and get the ball up to our strikers. So we're going to counter attack. We're going to distribute the playmaker. The goalie's going to pump it up field. So the change we're making, we're going to pump it up field. We're going to try and counter attack as quick as we can. And we're going to throw people a little bit further forward. To try and take advantage of that. 6.5 Coutinho is going to come off. We'll bring Kingsley Coleman on for him. Everybody else, a few 6.5s out there. Goretzka and Muller on 6.5s. But I don't want to break too many changes at the moment. We're going to start the second half. We need an away goal. 50 minutes. It's a throw in to Semedo. Akadi gives it back to him. Herrera. Long cross in the box. Neymar's through. And PSG have made it 2-0. It doesn't change anything. We still need to score. And if we do score, it will go to extra time. So realistically, it's still the same situation. We still need to score a goal. But that does make things harder. Neymar's through on goal. Slots it past Neuer. We 100% now need to score. As Kimmich from a free kick to Goretzka. Come on, boys. We just need one goal to get back into this tie. Goretzka plays it back to Thiago in the midfield. We're just looking for the opening, and that could be it to Kimmich. Kimmich loses the ball, though. There's a bit of a poor touch from him, and Neymar now. He's got some room on that left-hand side. He's just blitzed through our team. Neymar, but it's a good slide from Sule. And we need to start something here now. We need to get players forward. This is where the, the counter-attack's going to come in. Eriksson's through. Christian Eriksson puts it away. And that is a goal for Bayern Munich. And that will make it 2-1 on the night. 3-3 on aggregate. And we have cancelled out their away goal. So that is very good for us. If we can score another away goal, then they have to score two. But beaten at the near post, Navas. And we are back in this tie. 61 minutes. We start from the back. As Eriksson, the goal scorer, gives it to Thiago. Long ball to Lewandowski to chase. But that's not going to get that far. As Thomas Muller from the right-hand side. Can he come inside? He finds Kimmich. But they did well to defend. As Neymar tries to play in Icardi. Icardi's one-on-one. -on -one, but it's a brilliant block by Sule. I think it was Sule. Yeah, I think it was him. But Samedo. And that's the end of the highlight. Free kick from Eriksson, the goal scorer. Crosses it in the box, only as far as Marquinhos. As PSG do lump it away. And if we can score another goal here, that will mean PSG has to score two. So it's very tight at the moment. 3-3. Three, three. Going to extra time the way things stand. Away goals have been cancelled out. Thomas Muller tries to get in the box. He wins it. Lewandowski! Oh, he was through. He was through. Throw in 71 minutes. We've definitely been better in the second half. Now we've got a bit more attack in. Muller to Kimmich. Can he find him again? He's going to try and cross it in for the looks of it. He does. And it's Alaba on the volley. Oh, if that had gone top corner, that would have been a stunning goal. But we will look at the tactics. Lewandowski on a 6.4. So we are going to bring Balotti off the bench. Our summer sign-in to try and make the difference. I'm going to leave everything else the same. 20 minutes to go. Neuer from the goal kick. 80 minutes. 10 minutes to go. Thiago pumps it upfield. It's been, I would say, PSG have been the second team in the second half. Bayern Munich have been the better side here in this second half. But Marquinhos plays it to Semedo. Come on, close him down, Alaba. But he finds Di Maria. Alaba does get there. No, it's Kingsley Coman. I'm not sure where Alaba is then if Kingsley Coman's uh, tracking back. But Sule pumps it upfield to Garner. Goretzka wins the ball. Lovely ball to Balotti. Balotti's one-on-one. -on -one. He puts it in the net. 
And that should be enough to see us into the semi-finals of the Champions League. That is an away goal. So PSG now have to score two goals to reach the semi-finals. We have turned up in the second half. But Lottie from the bench, the summer sign-in, puts it away. £70 million pound well spent as we should be reaching the Champions League semi-finals. PSG have got to score two. We're coming up to the 90th minute. It is not going to happen. And Bayern Munich in the second half have certainly turned up. Drax lacrosse is it. It's a shot from Mounier. Hits the post. Oh, it's up to the 90th minute. We are still having drama. And we are just waiting for the clock to tick down. And Bayern Munich have reached the Champions League semi-finals. I'm going to say that's a very nice victory. We have done it. I thought after that first half, when we, well, yeah, I thought after the first half we were done. But we have brought it back. And that's going to be enough to get us into the Champions League semi-final. A 4-3 aggregate win. And that's going to see us through into that semi-final. Thiago, he did very well. I'm going to say his passing was a joy to behold. And if we look at the competitions, it's going to be Man City against Lyon or Liverpool. And we are waiting on the winners of Spurs or Chelsea. So I think we will advance just to see who we will play in that Champions League semi-final. Let's have a look here. We're going to have to go on a couple more days to see who we find out. Let's have a look. So we've got Bayer Leverkusen next, but we are going to show off the Dortmund Pokal semi-final. Is it going to be Spurs or is it going to be Chelsea? We'll find out together live. It is Spurs we will play in the semi-final. And Bayern Munich against Spurs to, for a place in the Champions League final. Where is that scheduled in our calendar? So that's at the end of the month. So I think I know what the next episode is going to be. But what we'll do now is we'll forget about Champions League for now. As we will go on to the DFB Pokal semi-final against Dortmund. The German Cup semi-final has arrived. And we haven't made too many changes for the Borussia Dortmund game. Pavard comes in for Sule. But apart from that, it is exactly the same team that got us the win against PSG. Well, we drew, but... We, we got through to the semi-final. So I'm classing it as a win. So that is the side. I think actually I'll put Belotti in instead of Lewandowski as he did score the winning goal against PSG. So we will submit the team. We do have a place in the German Cup final. The DFB Pokal final up for grabs. The treble is still on. We can still win the Bundesliga, the Champions League and the German Cup. We've already won the Super Cup. So we could win all trophies this season. So that's going to be the side. I'm going to say, you deserve to be in the final. I expect you to make it happen. I'm going to tell them that they have a lot more to come from them. I have faith in the side. And we will be going up against our domestic rivals away from home for a place in the German Cup final. Corner from Guerrero. Six minutes in for Dortmund. And they've got the opening goal. Axel Witzel with the header and Dortmund are 1-0 up in the semi-final. First highlight of the game and Dortmund are not messing around. Witzel with the header, top corner and we already have a mountain to climb. Throw in 15 minutes from Alaba, gives it back from Thiago. Can he whip one in? No, he gives a straight back. Lovely ball here. Thiago crosses it in but it's taken away from Guerrero. And now Dortmund pump it upfield. Pavard will mop it up. Is he going to play it short? He tries it over the top, but it is intercepted. Royce gives it to Goretzka. Come on, boy. And we need an equaliser early on here. We are on the back foot. And we are away from home. Pavard plays it all the way back to Manuel Neuer. Oh, he's given the ball away to Alsace. It's 2 0. And Manuel Neuer. We've done it again. We've done it again. Like another silly mistake from our defence. This time it's Manuel Neuer. What's he trying to do here? Well, he's trying to give it to Boatang, But Alsa say intercepts it. It's a free shot. And we are 2-0 down. 16 minutes in. 
It's not going well for Bayern Munich. Neuer with a goal kick, 31 minutes. Of all the players it had to be to make that mistake, it had to be Manuel Neuer. So we've had mistakes from Martinez, Boatang, and Neuer this season. Loads of defensive errors. But Kimmich plays it to Christian Eriksen, to Belotti. Right, come on, we need to go back here really quickly. Kimmich to Thomas Muller, tries to square for Eriksen, and he does get it in the net. It is 2-1. We have pulled the goal back, and now the comeback is hopefully on the cards. As Kimmich gives it to Muller inside the box. Does it come off the defender? It does come off the defender, but Eriksen is ready to pounce. And we are now back in this game at 2-1. Hakimi with a throw in, 34 minutes. Dortmund have been on the ascendancy all game. As Coutinho lumps it upfield to Balotti. Come on, Balotti. You've you got no one with him, though. He's going to wait for someone. He waits for Eriksen. Gives it to Thiago. To Goretzka. He's got a shot here. But he does put it wide over the goal. Still only 2-1. 37 minutes. Alaba to Christian Eriksen. Coutinho. Come on. Can we get an equaliser before half-time? We've looked a lot better since we scored. Kimmich on the edge of the area. Thomas Muller. Kimmich's going to try and cross it here. No, plays it short. Gives it to Coutinho. Lovely pass in. I just need someone to take the shot, please. To Thomas Muller. Heads it to Eriksson. It is 2-2. Lovely pass in move from Bayern Munich. I was just waiting for someone to take the shot. And it turned out to be Christian Eriksson. As he gets his second goal of the game. And we have equalised at 2-2. We are not dead yet. Muller unselfishly heads it down. And it's a tap-in for Eriksson. And it's Bayern Munich 2, Dortmund 2. Coming up to half-time. Very action-packed first half in the Pokal semi-final. As we've made it 3-2. And Balotti has made it with the third goal. And we have turned this around from 2-0 down. We're going to be going into half-time 3-2 up. As Thiago gives it to Balotti from the header. And our summer signings, Ericsson, well, our January signings, Ericsson and Belotti, are making such a difference to this side. And we're going to say they are very pleased with the way things are going. We had to concede two goals first, but the players have shown up. As we start the second half, can we make the final? Guerrero with the free kick, 53 minutes. Marco Royce with a header. Weigel, think I headed it off the bar? Did he actually stop that from going in? I'm not quite sure. Either way, they didn't score. 67 minutes in. Kemek is looking a bit tired, so I'm going to move Pavard out to wing back. I'm going to bring Nicolas Sule off the bench. Alaba's tired, but I don't really have a left back right now, so he's going to have to stay there. And I think I'll bring Thiago off for Taliso to freshen up the midfield. So two subs made. 20 minutes to go. Still all to play for. Free kick from Coutinho. 78 minutes. I think he went for a shot, but it's gone in the goal. And Taliso's going to claim it. I thought it was a shot from Coutinho. But Taliso managed to get something off it. And we are 4-2 up. And we should be making the final. Coutinho goes for it. And I, I think it is a cross. It looks like a shot, but I think it is a cross. But Taliso does well. 4-2 up. And we have turned this game around since going 2-0 down. We might as well see the rest of the game out together as we've got five minutes of injury time. And I think we just needed those two goals to wake us up to actually start playing some football. But we have won 4-2 and that will make sure that we reach the DFB Pokal final and the treble is still on as we make the final. Hummel suffers defeat in his former club. We win in the semi-final. We get some money. Christian Eriksen, he was worth the money we paid for him. And if we look at the competition, it's either going to be Bayer Leverkusen or Eintracht Frankfurt we play in the final. We'll do the same thing. We'll see who we do play in the final. So we'll continue on a couple of days just to see who it is that we play. I think it's pro... I would say Bayer Leverkusen if I was a betting man. But it doesn't look like we're getting the game. When are we going to find out? Here we go. So it's Bayer Leverkusen against Eintracht Frankfurt. My money's on Bayer Leverkusen. And they've won 2 0. So that does mean we will play Bayer Leverkusen in the, GF, the DFB 
German Cup final. There it is. So if we look at the schedule, when is that schedule for? So that is the last game of the season. So we'll certainly be having a DFB Pokal final to look forward to in this series. But I think what we'll do is we will come back for the Spurs Champions League games, both home and away. It is the semi-final. So you're only going to miss out on Borussia Mönchengladbach as we will be going up against Spurs in the next episode. We did beat by Leverkusen in the game in between. 2-1. Tolisso and Kingsley Coman grabbing the goals there. And what that means for the league table is that we are still three points clear of Borussia Dortmund with four games to go. So this is coming out on a Friday. So we've only got three episodes of the Bayern beta left. Even though technically we're on the full game now, but we're going to have three more episodes of the Bayern beta save, which we're going to find out whether we're going to make the Champions League final. We're going to find out whether we win the Bundesliga. And are we on to win every competition that we have been in this season, which compared to the start of the season, I didn't think I'd be saying that come April. But there we are, guys. So next time we're going to be going up against Spurs, both home and away in the Champions League semi-final. A place in the finals up for grabs. Can we make it? But leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2020 content. We will be uploading the buy and bait to save every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 6 p.m. GMT. And tune in next time, as mentioned, for that Champions League semi against Spurs. Thank you very much for watching.